Hello, this video is to show you how to make calendar links that your user can click on to add events to their calendar um, using the Adalify API and you can then implement it into your Adalo app. So let's have a look here, we've got um, for an event we're making we've got a start date which is a date picker and an end date. Obviously you don't um, need a user input for this, it can all be magic text, however you want to do it but this gives you the idea. We've got a make link button here um, and we have a custom action. Okay, and it's important here with these inputs, which are date inputs, that we select date format, no formatting. Okay, both of these need to be no format. So uh, we make our custom action and call it what you like. And then we've got our base URL um, from Adalify. And if you look at the docs here, there we have the endpoint. Um, so the next thing we need, we need our authorization, which will be bearer space and then your Adalify API key. Now everything else needed is set up as a query parameter. So we've got the title of the event, I've hard-coded it here, um, rather than use magic text, just for showing you, you would normally use um, dynamic data. Again, we've got description, location, and then our start and end, which are dynamic inputs. Um, now, this is all I'm putting for this example, but if you go and look at the docs, uh, you can see that instead of using start um, and end, you can use a duration. So here are all the different um, options for duration which you can use instead of an end date. Okay, so if we run a test request. So the Adalify API has um, come back and it's given us a bunch of links. Um, here's for Yahoo Calendar, Google Calendar, Office Calendar and Outlook Calendar. And then the last one is ICS. This is the raw ICS data, this one down here, but the one you'll normally want to use is uh, this one, just data.ics, because um, that is a usable link that you can use inside your Adalo app. So these are all the responses we can now use. Save custom action, and then we're gonna update the user or whatever collection you are using. So here, uh, we've got the um, result of our API request and that was the data.ics and we've done the same for Google, Outlook, Yahoo and Office. Um, and then all we've got here is links for the different ones. Um, Google Calendar will be popular with users, Yahoo Calendar maybe not so much and I must point out sometimes in testing the Yahoo Calendar has not carried the time zone correctly and it does say up here as a warning on the docs. Okay, um, yeah. Um, also, the ICS link is for native iOS and it does not work well on Android. So the ICS link here, really, uh, this so people can add things to Apple Calendar. Um, so that's it really, let's give it a test. Okay, so let's pick our start date, let's say 14th of May and then end date 14th of May but a couple of hours after. Now we're going to click make link. Okay so now um, we should have updated the user collection, uh, the logged in user with all of that relevant information. Um, just to make sure the links have refreshed with new data I'm just going to press back and go back in again. Um, Alright and let's try the Google Calendar link and see if it's worked correctly. Okay, and there we go. This is exactly the way we set it up with the date pickers. We've got an event name, we've got our location, and we've got our description. Okay, so that's all there is to it, really. Um, just have a read of the Adalify docs if you need more information, but I think that uh, covers how to get started with it. Okay, thanks, guys. Any questions, please ask.